within the last two minutes, uh, drug-free zones are now in place in D.C. That is right. This is all part of the new Secure D.C. legislation that was signed into law on Monday. Our Candace Cole joins us now live from Gallery Place with more on this. So, Candace, tell us all about this. It is in effect as of right now. Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. I'm standing on the corner of 8th and G Streets Northwest, one of the newly declared drug free zones that went into effect this morning. And I'll step out, out of the way here. Take a look at this sign. This is a public notice alerting people to the fact that this has been declared a drug free zone by DC police, something Mayor Bowser actually voted to repeal when she sat on the city council 10 years ago. The notice prohibits two or more people from congregating with the purpose of quote knowingly or intentionally possessing, manufacturing or distributing illegal drugs. Now, according to the secure DC law, the chief of police can declare any area a drug free zone for up to five days with 24 hours notice. Some of the stipulations for consideration outlined by the new law include whether or not there's been a high number of drug related arrests, violent or dangerous crime or homicide in the area over the last six months. Many communities Community groups and the ACLU have come out against the establishment of drug free zones as disproportionately targeting communities of color. This first drug free zone will be in effect from 8 a.m. today until 8 a.m. next Tuesday. Is this, you know, a bill for all or is this a bill to target a certain type of demographic of the city? Mm -hmm. And no, it really like rubs the head and really makes you think like, you know, do they really want, you know, a certain type of demographic overflow? And just a bit of the backstory here, drug free zones first went into effect here in DC in 1997, but were repealed in 2014 by the DC City Council over concerns that they are unconstitutional. Now, anyone who fails to comply with the police after being asked to disperse from being in a drug free zone could face arrest and a $300 fine. Reporting live in Northwest, Candace Cole, DC News Now.